Well, on what has been an amazing day of sport here on the first day of the Cheltenham Festival 2023, Honeysuckle got her happy ending at the end of her career. And the jockey that is synonymous with her, of course, Rachel Blackmore, here to talk to us. Usually it doesn't happen that way, does it? It doesn't bear out the way exactly that you wanted it, but it has. I know. Um, like that, to, to get to walk back in here into the winner's enclosure to, to, to that uh, reception and oh like it's it's so special and yeah as you say it doesn't always end in, in a fairy tale like that and but it did for her and yeah it's just a very special day it seems justified really with the career that she's had don't you think it's the right ending yeah it is it really is um like she's been just phenomenal for for the whole team of us involved you know for henry for me for kenny you know for everyone involved in her uh she's just been sensational and like you dream of being involved with something like this like get, getting to come to to Cheltenham for the last few years and have honeysuckle to ride like that's that's what a jockey wants uh, that's just dream stuff and yeah, I feel so lucky that I got to you know I got to ride her the first day she ran and and stay on her and it, it it's happened you know many times uh, it's just great and talk us through the conversations that were had after the Dublin Racing Festival because it seemed at that point everyone thought well this is the ending and yet she's been brought back here for this this happier ending took me through those those days and weeks yeah look there was different opinions uh, and so on but like ultimately henry is a trainer and he wants to train winners in cheltenham and his view w w was to was to you know aim her at the best race so we could walk back into the winners enclosure and i'm so glad he's a exceptional trainer because you know if she ran a half an hour beforehand it, it wouldn't have been the same uh, you know, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have got to the number one spot uh, looking at the horse in, in that. You know, so I'm just uh, fair play to Henry for for giving me and Honey Suckle and all of us the chance to celebrate her one more time. It's funny how things work out, isn't it? It was that grit actually that she showed to see off Vauban. I think that's what Peter Maloney was saying was the the changing factor and that grit you could see from her again today. Yeah, like I I felt her really try to to hold on to second in in Leopardstown and like she's never not felt like she's she's always tried. You know, even when we landed after the last Manhattan's Grace, for a second I thought oh, she's gonna she's gonna go again. You know what I mean? And, she's trying all the time so she's an incredible mare and kenny alexander is, in a, is one of the coolest owners you'll ever ride for so uh oh, it's just it's a weight off the shoulders anyway that's for sure and today talk us through the race so it was interesting in that love and boy went to the front i wasn't expecting that were you no uh definitely not um i was wondering where where the pace was going to come from um she was well lined up to go but didn't i was happy to go on uh myself to be honest over the first two and then Love Envoy wanted up to be in front more than me so we was happy just to follow and yeah just wanted to ride as simple a race as I could and uh, yeah it's great when it works out. And that walk back I mean you've won two champion hurdles on her but the walk back and into the winner's enclosure I've never seen anything like it. Yeah like it's the people like people are just unbelievable like the receptions she's got um, you know from Fairy House to Leopardstown the, the crowds to here like they're so Oh, you just—it's an amazing feeling to be, to be the centre of that. You feel the centre of it when you're when you're on the back of of honeysuckle walking in. You know, there, it, it's just uh, it's directed at you, and it's just—it's incredible. Like the the people are just make it so special. It's appreciation, I think, and love for for you, for the horse, for Henry, the whole family, for Kenny, everyone. Just to end, sum up what she's been for you in your career. She's been. Uh, She's been just career, yeah, an amazing thing for my career. Yeah, she really has. Um, I'm bad at summarising things. Um, <laughs> oh, like she's just been incredible, and uh, yeah, like it's it's not every jockey gets the chance to to link up with something like her. So yeah, I just I feel very lucky. So so lucky. Well, it's happy retirement to Henry Suckle. Happily, we'll be have you back for the rest of the week. Thank you so much Thank for coming you. over and chatting, and well done today. Thanks, Lilia. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.